Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's often been asked in groups and in the forum, how do you put a timer belt on these engines? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so you guys know I've been working on this project truck. All of those videos are coming out later. And this engine is going to go in it because the one that was in the truck was locked up. This engine used to power the red truck until I rebuilt that motor. And this engine is a high mileage engine. It's a pretty good motor. But before we do a complete teardown, which will be on YouTube, a teardown and rebuild, I thought I would take the opportunity to use it just to show you real quick how to replace a timing belt because that has cropped up uh, in some Facebook groups and in the forum a few times. We have documentation on it, but no full video. It's really straightforward. It's not hard to do. These are non-interference engines, so if your timing belt breaks, don't sweat it. You just have to get everything back in time and put your belt on and you should be good to go. This is on an engine stand. This is going to be quite easy. If it's in your vehicle, of course, you know you're probably going to have to remove your fan, some, uh, some belts, uh, your fan shroud, stuff like that. Get it out of the way. But we're fortunate today. It's just right here, ready for the viewing. I'm just going to show you the basics of taking the belt off, of course. We're going to take it off. We're going to pretend we're going to put it back on. You know, even if you have a two liter, uh, some stuff still applies. There's often been some mistakes made when putting the timing belt on, chewing the belt up and stuff. And I'm going to show you why that may happen so that you can avoid that. So there's a lot of tidbits and some secret sauce, if you will, in this video. So don't run off. Stay tuned. And let's get into it. Okay, if it were me, one of the first things I would do is I would uh, get the engine in time. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take off this top timing cover, 10 millimeter bolts, three of them are the same size, these first three, this one here is longer, so there you go, we're going to take that off, and using 21 millimeter socket wrench right now this is on uh, number three is up top we're going to rotate the engine clockwise here comes my number four i'm going to get it around here to number one and as i get to one you see my timing mark is it will be yours will be on the the T for top dead center. Mine's a little off because this timing cover could be incorrect for this setup for this like 626 block is, but it's very close, close enough. But you'll want it to be on top dead center and the number one to be lined up with your little triangle divot right there. Now, It's easier, you can remove this. It's a little, you can remove this lower timing cover. It's a little, you have to fiddle it out of there. It'll come out, but this has got to come off anyway. So we're going to pull off this harmonic balancer. It is six 10 millimeter bolts. There they are. Now we'll take this lower cover off. I like to put the bolts in the cover. Let's go ahead and talk about one of them juicy tidbits right now. This little plate right here, the name escapes me right now. If you look at it though, see how it's got that beveled looking edge there. Some people 
end up putting this on wrong and boom there you go you're chewing your belt up that has happened to a lot of people so you want to take pictures or pay attention to what you're doing as you take stuff apart because it goes on that way with this bevel edge going out you can see i've been in here before i'm playing around and um, i kind of marked everything so i could see it clearly with the crank being in time with the engine another tidbit i'll point out you'll see this one has a little crack right here on that uh, lower timing gear or lower crank gear you can see where someone probably tried to pry this out at one point but basically all you have to do if you want this off you have to take off this crank bolt which is 123 foot pounds so you're going to want to if you have it on a if it's in gear it'll be easy if it's on your vehicle if you have to do that I'm just saying but if you have it on a stand you would have to put flywheel back on and you have to lock it down because this is pretty tough to get off while it's on a stand and then there's no point in prying on this to get this off all you have to do, in most cases, is take the harmonic balancer, put it back on, bolt it up, and just wiggle, and it will pull this off with it. Another tidbit. Okay, so we're going to loosen this pulley. It's a 14 millimeter. We're going to loosen that up. Now, if you're getting a kit, then like I like to get a Gates timing belt kit, and it'll come with this idler pulley, brand new. Uh, it may come with this one. I can't recall right now. I didn't do my homework. So um, you would take the whole thing off, take the whole bolt out. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to loosen it up so i got plenty of it. So I can get this, scoot this belt off. Yours may be broken, I don't know. But in this, in this particular video, we're just going to take this belt off. Like, you know, Mazda says to change it every 60,000 miles. So let's just pretend you're doing that. You want to know how to do it. So we're just going to take this belt off, and we're going to put it back on. So that's loose. Going to take some needle nose pull off this this is kind of tricky just like that and I'm just gonna let it rest on there move that to the side now I'm just gonna slide it off the bottom and the belt is off now if your engine was really if it broke on you or something happened and this is all not in time all you would do right now is just make sure that this is lined up so you can see that on this ooh, I hope I can focus on it the crank gear has a little dimple right there and that's supposed to be lined up with this triangle piece right here this is on the oil pump so if everything was really severely goofed up or it's a brand new motor you just want to get this lined up and if this was all weird you just want to turn it clockwise and get the one, get it all lined up. Okay, so now the belt's off. Let's go over some notes. On the uh, 86 through 87, the 2 liter engine, it requires a 109 tooth, 109 cog tooth, whatever belt. It is, uh, you need to know if you need the round cog belt or the square cog. So the round cog... <clears throat> As you can see, they're rounded. They're not square pieces. I don't have one of those belts to show you, but you'll need to pay special attention when you order one. If it's, uh, look at your old belt or look at your, your cam gear and see what it may require. Now the 88 through 93, the more popular 2.2 motor, it takes 110 tooth belt and it's a Gates T134. Now, this engine behind me, it's a little different, but it's all we have for this video special today. So it's a, uh, it could be a 626 block, 
it's, uh, it's got everything on it that uh, a 2.2 would, would have, except the belt is a little different, probably because of the block. And it takes a special 108 uh, cog belt, and that, if you looked on Rock Auto, if you in the position I'm in, you have to get one. It is a Gates T160, and it's, I ordered it for a Prelude 87. Now, what we're going to do, what I've been doing, and this is available on my website, this is if you get the, the Gates T134 kit, it's an instruction on how to take it off. Basically, everything I'm going over today. But we're going to pay special attention to steps 5, 6, 7, and 8, because that's what a lot of people don't do. So we're going to show you how to do that today, right now. Okay, so we got our belt. Let's pretend it's new. If you had a kit, this is where you would just unbolt this all the way, put this on. Self-explanatory. This one may come in the kit. I, I just can't remember. I will be replacing all of this, but before I tear this engine down, I thought I would go ahead and shoot you guys a video on how to do this timing belt. So basically, I'm just going to move it out of the way. So basically, we're just going to put this belt on. We're going to start down low. Get that on there like that. And then you may, it may be tight. You may struggle a little bit getting it on, but it just goes right on. So some truck owners have struggled with how far back to push this belt. Well, you don't want to push it back too far. A lot of times you can kind of see where the belt previously rode and you just kind of want to get it where it was, where it was sitting. I can still see some teeth in the back and it's it's kind of right where it was landed before. So that's, that's how you want to do that. Now when it comes to the bottom, it will, you will push it all the way in until it rests against the back of this gear. There's a lip there. So just push it all the way back. You'll see my Lower, it's easy to get the bottom off, so I'm going to get that just right. It may move a little bit more, but I'll have to keep an eye on it. So uh, we just want to make sure everything is taut right through here, right around the idler pulley, and everything's tight here, because we're going to take up the slack with this tensioner pulley. So everything is on. So what I'm going to do first is attach my spring. I'm going to try to get it to where you can see it better. Okay, my spring tension is there. Now the bolt is still loose. Remember those steps? I was talking about in the paper. That is where this comes into play right now. It's going to be loose so that it can move. Because this is what you don't want to do. You don't want to take a screwdriver or something and force this thinking you're tightening the belt up. The tightening of the belt is done with the spring. That's it. So, that being said, we're going to turn the engine over to full revolutions. So I'm on number one here, and I'm timed down here. Everything looks good. So we're just, what we're looking for is we don't want any belt walk. So if we turn it around, and we're checking everything, make sure this belt down here is not walking out this is it's fine we're back to number one that was one revolution 
Everything still looks great. It's perfect. Down here it's just right on that pulley, which my little cover would be right there. This one. You can see where the belt's kind of been riding on it. Right now it's looking good. Nothing is out of line. I'm coming back to number one. There we are. So everything looks good. So now, tighten this up. And there is a, probably a, there is a specific foot pound for it. I don't know that it matters a whole lot, but I wouldn't get stupid crazy on it. And I do have the torque specs on my website. That's tight enough. So that is basically it. Remember what I said about this plate? We're going to put it there with the little rounded edge toward the front so that it does not chew the belt up. I'm going to put that on. Now, the harmonic balancer, it has a little keyway spot. And that fits right there. Engine is in time. It's straight up. Okay, before we send these home, I'd like to use a little extension. I like to put my bolts in by hand first before I put any power to it. So I'm going to make sure they all start really good. You don't want to get too crazy with these, they can uh, strip out, break off. So just give it a little, some rat -a -tats. And let me tell you, there is a torque spec for this. It's on the website. It's gonna go in a crisscross pattern. Not too worried about that right now because this engine is gonna get tore down soon. If you've been paying attention, you know that I got out of step. Remember when I said this was easier to take off with this off, but you could do it and all that? Well, if you're finna see, you can get it back in there. It's just a little bit of some wiggling and some flexing. No biggie. Yep. That's it. All right, that's it. Okay, that'll do it for another video uh, on how to install your timing belt. I hope it was uh, helpful to you, useful. Be sure and hit the subscribe button. Like the video if you liked it, but be sure and hit the subscribe button for the future videos that are coming out on this project truck, this engine rebuild. I'm about to get ready to tear into this motor and do a complete rebuild on it so when those videos come out you'll want to know hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and everything and we'll see you in the next one